Well, hello, curl friends and guys. Welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. If this is your first time stopping by, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to check out my videos. I hope you will subscribe. If you do subscribe, remember to push that uh, little bell next to the subscription button, and you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. And for those of you who have been hanging with me for uh, the last several months, Thank you so much for your faithful viewing. I really appreciate it. And please recommend my channel to other people. And I'm going to talk today about how I made my own gel. So if you're interested in knowing about that, stay tuned. And it's not flaxseed either. So let's jump right into it. When I decided to make my own uh, recipe for a gel, um, it's because I had seen uh, advertisements on YouTube about Eco Styler and a different product line that they had coming out with different gel products. And I thought to myself, well, if all they did was add coconut oil or add this oil or add that oil, I think I can do that. So I have this big jar of Eco Styler gel. This one has a hold of 10. So this is maximum hold. If you use a different type of gel, I don't know if that'll work for you or not because I don't know what they have in their gel. So um, I also had a smaller container about um, half this size or a quarter of this size. And that's the one that I'll be using. Now I have to tell you that this is already made up. I experimented with it last night and I wanted to see how it turned out. And then I looked at other videos this morning and mine's turned out kind of looked like the way theirs turned out. So this is more of a custard than it is a gel. If you see the difference in the consistency, this looks like jello and this looks more like a pudding or a custard. So um, there's just a couple other things that I want to add to this, but I want to tell you what I've done to it so far. Um, last night, this container was uh, practically full of the plain, this green Eco Styler gel. And I took some argan oil. This is a squirt bottle. And I think I took about uh, three or four squirts, which is probably about two tablespoons. I, I believe it probably squirts out about two tablespoons. So this is argan oil certified, USDA certified organic argan oil. I put vitamin E um, as a preservative, probably a tablespoon of this. Um, I don't have it right here, but I also used sweet almond oil, about two tablespoons of that. And now I'm going to add a little bit of this um, DNA uh, miracle treatment oil, Jamaican black castor oil, because I did not put any of that in there. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that to this. That's about a tablespoon. And I'm going to add some aloe vera juice. Now when you add the aloe vera juice, if you add this, not the gel, but the juice, you will probably have to refrigerate it. You can do that or you can use water. The thing is, if you refrigerate it, I don't know if it'll turn solid or not. So, so let me just show you the consistency before I add that to it because it may change the texture altogether. So I'm just going to give it a stir. And get that... Uh, black castor oil stirred in there pretty good. All the other oils are already stirred in. You can stir it or you can put it in a bowl and whip it if you if you choose or you can just stir it briskly in the container that it's in. Which is what I'm doing right here. And so this is how it looks. 
So it is the consistency of, of like a pudding or a mousse, okay? It's not going to be like the gel that it started out to be. Okay. And also, I used about 10 drops of cinnamon oil for fragrance. I like cinnamon. Now, you can use whatever oil you choose to use, but I, I did cinnamon. Um, instead of aloe vera juice, like I said, you can use um, water. Not Don't use water from your tap. Use bottled water or, you know, something. Unless you boil the water because you don't want any bacteria to be in there. I'm going to put a capful of this aloe vera juice in there. Okay. And then I will probably refrigerate it uh, just to make sure that it's okay. Now, I don't know how this is good. <laughs> I'll let y'all know. Hopefully, it doesn't separate, right? Because everybody, all the videos that I've seen, they all showed how it looked after they originally whipped it, but they didn't show what it looked like the next day. So, this, which what I first showed you, is from yesterday. I did this last night, and I let it sit out on my counter because I wanted to see how it was going to look in the morning. So right now, I'm just trying to give it a good whipping. I did notice that the consistency changed a little bit when I put that uh, Jamaican black castor oil in here. Um, it's not like it was before I put it in there. So now this is starting to look more like a gel. Uh, with that, and it could be because this uh, aloe vera juice is very cold. I don't know. But it smells good. It smells like cinnamon. Now, if you don't like cinnamon, use jasmine, use lavender, uh, whatever you want to use. You put that fragrance in there, that essential oil in there. All right, so I gave this a good stir. And now it looks like baker's icing, if you know. <laughs> If you know what that's like and the consistency is more like a gel now than a custard and it's a little bit oily so I don't know I don't know how that's gonna work out um, I'll just put some right here for right now but I don't know how that's gonna work out now that I've put the uh, the Jamaican black castor oil in here it might be too much a lot of people use coconut oil and I knew if I used um, I didn't want to use too much coconut oil because I use it in my leave-in conditioners and, and stuff like that. So, anyhow, this is what it looks like now. That does look more like a gel than a custard now. So, uh, and I just mixed it up in a small jar of the Eco Styler that I had before. Okay, so I put our mixture in the refrigerator. I'm going to leave it in there for one hour to see how it reacts to the cold. Um, I am aware that the castor oil is in there, and castor oil really should not be refrigerated. But we'll see what happens um, after an hour. And, um, and then I'm going to leave it out because I'll see how long it will actually keep without refrigeration before it goes bad on me. And um, if it does go bad on me, then what I'll do next time is I will leave the aloe vera juice out of it. And you can also use tea tree as a preservative as well as vitamin E. So I don't like the smell of tea tree. That's why I didn't put it in there. But anyhow, we'll see how that works out. Okay, be back in an hour. Well, it's been one hour since I put our um, Eco Styler and Essential Oil mixture in the refrigerator. It has not lost its consistency. It is a little wiggly, a little wiggly now. Um, but I added two more tablespoons of the Eco Styler gel to it. So, because I wasn't really sure that it was the consistency that I wanted it. And let's see here. So it's kind of smooth, as you can see. Um, 
I can feel the castor oil when I when I uh, put my fingers together. I can feel the oil in it, but it also feels like it kind of melts into my hair pretty quickly. So I don't know. We'll see if this is um, if this is going to work. I'm going to give it a try in the next uh, few days, and I will report back to you guys as to what my thoughts are about it or what I might change about the recipe the next time I make some. Okay? So thanks for coming by. Please uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Um, also, leave any suggestions that you have. If you've made your own, send me, uh, email me, and I will leave the email address also as well. Email me and tell me what you did with yours and what you put in yours and how it worked for you. Okay? Make sure you hit that bell so you'll get notifications every time I upload a video. And I will see you the next time I come by. Thanks for stopping by. Keep it natural.